we all like to impress. Who are we kidding? We all like to impress people. Not necessarily everyone, but sometimes at certain points of life, there may be people who you would like to impress. And this video is kind of about that. It's about how to make sure your home looks expensive or really impressive to those people who visit your home. Now maybe it doesn't matter what the UPS man thinks of your home. Maybe it doesn't matter what the repair man or the cable guy thinks of your home. But maybe it matters what your in-laws think of your home. Maybe it matters what, I don't know, a new boyfriend or girlfriend thinks of your home. It could matter. So in this video, I'm gonna cover all the tips of making an impressive home. And I really feel like it boils down to making your home look expensive. So the title of this video is how to make your home look expensive. And for the purposes of this video, we know that expensive equals impressive. And I'm not in any way talking about actually breaking the bank today. These tips will provide the illusion of expense to create the maximum amount of impressiveness in your space. Speaking of not breaking the bank, I actually do have a video all about how to decorate your home on a budget. I'll link it up below. Make sure you check that one out. And I actually had to Google to see if impressiveness was a word. It's a word. It's a thing. Oh, and before I forget, stay to the end of the video for a bonus tip. So first things first, before I get into the actual tips, I want to make sure that I clarify a few things. I want to clarify a few things that you really have to take into account or consider when you're trying to make your home look expensive. And those things are classic over trendy, neutral over colorful, and minimal over maximal. I'll explain. So when I say classic over trendy, you wanna make sure you pick some design elements in your space, especially your larger pieces, that don't necessarily go with the trends. You wanna pick things that are classic, things that you can have in your home for the next 20 years and no one would know that you've had it for 20 years because it doesn't look old and it doesn't look dated. Sometimes when we follow the trends, things can definitely look dated. You might see um, some type of artwork in your home and you're like, eh, I know that's from 2017. You know, we don't want to make sure that there's a date on the artwork unless of course it's like Picasso. We're not talking about that. We just want to make sure you're not following the trends and you're making sure your home is as classic as possible. So maybe the artwork explanation or example was a terrible one. How about make sure you're not picking a trendy lamp or a certain shape um, that you could have seen in a million different home stores back in 2017. Don't pick that one. <laughs> pick something that's a little more classic so that it can follow you throughout the ages. And regarding neutrals over colorful, make sure you're choosing items or make sure the color palette of your space is mostly neutral. It's definitely okay to throw in some pops of color here and there. I mean, have you seen my house? Throw in some pops of color here or there, but you wanna make sure your main anchor pieces are generally neutral. Things that are kind of calm, a little monochromatic, that definitely ups the expense factor. And you want to make sure to not overfill your spaces. Anytime a, face, a space feels cramped and stuffed, it kind of doesn't exude expensiveness. So that's why you want to make sure you lean more towards minimal than you do maximal. Don't have too many things crowding and cramping your space. Okay, so now that we've established those ground rules, it's time to get into my top tips. Fresh flowers and greenery. No one is surprised that I'm suggesting flowers and greenery. I mean, this video talks about it, that video talks about it, that other video talks about it, this video talks about it. So it's no surprise that I'm going to suggest greenery and flowers in your space. It always helps to make your interiors look fresh and look vibrant. And with that said, I'm not opposed to you using faux greenery as well. Especially if you don't have a green thumb, you don't wanna worry about watering anything or switching out the water in your flower vases. Use faux greenery. There are so many great options on the market nowadays. My next tip is artwork. I kinda of touched on it at the beginning in my very weak example of picking classic over trends, but make sure your space includes artwork. 
fill your walls with things that are you can sometimes fill it with things that are personal to you so photographs but also choose art pieces that kind of help to dictate the mood or the flow of your space I feel like that definitely makes your room or your home seem like it's very collected or seem like it's well curated that's the look that you're going for when you're trying to exude an expensive looking space and yes while artwork can get pricey especially the good ones there are definitely options that are available in your local home goods types of stores that you can um, purchase to fill wall space or empty space that you have in your home and always keep in mind that some things can just be a filler for now maybe until your art budget increases or maybe until you find something that is really personal to you that you want to use to fill that space definitely swap it out whenever that time comes and I'm a strong proponent of purchasing art pieces um, for the frame not always for the actual art so I've been known to buy a piece maybe at a home goods or TJ Maxx or Marshalls and the frame is amazing and I'm not a huge fan of the art print that's in it it's really easy to take the backing off of that picture frame and swap it out for something that is more you or more suitable for your space if you'd actually like a tutorial on that leave a comment down below or just give me a thumbs up down below or some kind of emoji down below or whatever down below the next tip I would say is to use reflective surfaces and metallic tones. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm not saying to go too far with like the shimmery gold lame and all that other stuff. That's not what I'm saying. But I do feel like it's important to have light bounce around your space to make it feel open and airy. And that is done through the use of mirrors. So make sure you have mirrors tastefully placed throughout the home. Also, use metallic tones and they don't have to be bright metallic tones they don't have to be like garish um, or garish gold tones or anything of the sort try using metallic tones that are kind of subdued or maybe ones that will fall in the pewter kinds of family so a little gold a little silver mixed together but those will amp up the expensiveness of your space lighting lighting is also an important area that I feel like many of us overlook or many of us don't really pay attention to and in reality especially your light fixtures it can go a long way if you just replace those from the basic cookie cutter ones that might have come in your apartment or your home and a lot of times it's really easy to do it yourself a quick Google search but of course if you feel uncomfortable hire an electrician to swap out those light fixtures but that is one area to focus on and to really pull a lot more of your character into the space and to also make it look like more of a curated home like it's well thought out like um, you really put some effort into designing your space and that is truly the basis of making your home look impressive it has to look like you put some effort into it so try that try swapping out your light fixtures for things that are just not run-of-the-mill um, it doesn't have to be ornate or over the top just things that aren't your basic light fixtures try swapping those out and another tip for making your home look expensive at all times is to keep it tidy keep it tidy clean and clutter free as much as you possibly can I actually have a video on my top tips for having a clean home at all times which I'll link up above and down in the description so you can check that out for any tips that you need to help keep it looking clean and tidy you don't have to do a massive deep clean of your home every single week but there are things you can do on a day-to-day -day basis that'll keep your home clutter free and to make it look better organized and tidy at all times so that is truly helpful in making your home look impressive or expensive and with the whole keeping it tidy make sure it smells nice everybody likes to smell something <laughs> I mean if you think about it so everybody likes to smell something of course we don't want to smell any stinky smells but the absence of any smell is sometimes not as welcoming or inviting so definitely add some fragrance to your home and that can be by way of candles that can be by way of diffusers or any other type of fragrance emitting <laughs> things that you could use in your home and I will give you one little tip that I actually heard from a realtor and they suggested not to use those plug-in type of scented things for homes 
I don't really know why. I mean, I have plugins. I mean, I use them, but the idea or the thought is when you're having guests, the smell of a candle or a diffuser of some sort is a little softer and not as harsh on the nose. And it kind of plays a nice subtle backdrop to your space. So maybe that's why. So definitely make sure your home is tidy and make sure it smells nice at all times. Now I didn't get to the bonus tip yet, but those are my main top tips for making your home look expensive at all times. That's using fresh flowers and greenery, making sure you incorporate artwork into your space, making sure you swap out your lighting for things that are a little more unique and a little more you. Also to use reflective surfaces and metallic tones within your space and to keep it tidy and smelling nice at all times. And my bonus tip I did not forget. My bonus tip is to make sure you add rugs to your space. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Rugs do something to just amp up the coziness of a space. Not only that, it actually helps to dampen the sound or dampen the echoey sounds that you might hear within your space that makes it feel cold and makes it feel empty. Try adding rugs to your living areas. You can add rugs to your kitchens. It's a thing, it rugs to your living areas and your kitchens, and you might find that it helps to warm up the space and to amp up the impressive factor of your home. Thank you so much for watching my video today on how to make your home look expensive. If you have any additional tips you'd like to include, please leave them down below in the comments. And anything I mentioned or referenced in today's video, I'll have it linked down in the description box as well. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.